Hi guys, it's Shenanigans. Today I'll be starting my 642 Things to Draw series. I've been having a really hard time figuring out what to draw lately, so I figured a prompt book would be really helpful for me to create some new ideas. To help me with this process, I've decided to follow three specific rules. The first rule is that I'll be following this book in order, so no skipping around, jumping ahead, or anything like that. The second rule is that I won't be peeking, so you guys will see the real-time response of me seeing the prompt for the first time. And the third and final rule, I'll be combining all of the prompts on one page into one single piece of art. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this prompt video! Alright, so our first prompt is... A rolling pin and a hammock. Alright. To start this prompt, I just wanted to start by sketching out what a rolling pin and a hammock look like, so that's what I'm doing here. I had no idea what I wanted to do th for this prompt, so I figured the best way to start is to see if I could actually draw these things. So, as you see here, I'm just drawing a rolling pin that is rolling over a hammock with a guy sitting in it. I was thinking maybe like a torture chamber sort of thing might be fun. But I ended up scrapping that idea because I didn't feel like doing my first prompt with a lot of blood and gore and stuff. So I decided to go on the opposite side and make a rolling pin that has one of those embossed engravings in it. So I was going to make hammock-shaped cookies, but I just wasn't feeling that one and I had no idea where else to go with that. So I just started by sketching out another hammock. And then remember that hammocks aren't attached to poles normally, they're attached to trees, because that's what people do when they have hammocks. So I thought, oh, maybe this rolling pin could be a character in a hammock, because they're enjoying their time off, all the cookie baking season's done, they're excited for summer and spring. So that was the idea I decided to go with. I'm not in focus on camera here, but I basically started drawing out this idea lower, and... Yeah, that's basically the idea I went with. I sketched this whole idea out in my notebook and then decided to start doing some line art. So, the prompt's already done. Here's our little hammock. Wow, not our hammock. Here's a little rolling pin dude hanging out in his hammock. Just, you know, enjoying his time off. He, he probably had a long cookie baking season. I know I'll be putting this video up around the first week of the new year, so... You've, you like to bake cookies around the holidays, you know it is a crazy hectic time, and I'm sure a lot of your kitchen tools, like your rolling pin, get used a lot. I know I have one of those mixers, like those standing mixers, and that thing gets destroyed every year. So, basically, back to the drawing. I decided this little rolling pin dude would be hanging out in a park somewhere, just under some shaded trees, enjoying his time of not having to make any cookies for anyone, or having to have his, I guess, face rolled over cookie dough. Man, I didn't think this character through too well. I thought that, oh, you know, he's just happy little rolling pin, but nope, when he gets used during cookie baking season, uh, his face goes right into cookie dough, and that, that can't be a fun time, so, you know, at least I get to draw him in a hammock, relaxing having a dandy old time, just enjoying his time off. Or is he? Might there be a twist at the end? Alright, stop being weird and talk about the art supplies. In case you're curious, I'm just using a Pigma Micron 05 to line this whole picture. So here's our finished line art, and if you didn't already notice in that bottom left corner, we just have a little kitty deciding to just be a cat and play with the string it sees that happens to be connected to our rolling pin's hammock. So, you know, this guy's just enjoying some peaceful time off, not having to work, but it looks like this kitty's about to ruin that. So, I thought it was a cute little fun touch, because I wanted this to be a bit more of a humorous picture instead of just a weird kind of comic of this rolling pin lounging in a hammock. So, that's where the kitty came from. I think it's cute. I think it's a nice addition. And, I mean, it's my artwork, so my opinion matters the most, right? Alright, so I'm just coloring this picture in with uh, Copic markers. I got a huge set for Christmas, so thanks, Santa. I really love them. I would love more in the future because I'm an art hoarder. I don't know, I hoard art supplies. That's part of my thing. Anyway, these markers are really great. I'm using the B Paper Company marker paper. 
This is the five and a half by eight and a half, I believe, size. Um, it works really well. The marker doesn't bleed through at all, and Copics, as you can see, they blend really smoothly on top of it. And no, I am no expert with Copics, so there's definitely still streaking with these markers on this paper because I'm still learning and figuring it out. But that's okay, that's part of what art is. You just gotta kind of test things out sometimes and figure out what works for you and what doesn't. So, like you can see here in the sky, here's a perfect example of me not really knowing how to use Copics and blend with them and not get too many streaks because I apparently didn't feel like putting in enough time with them. But, you know, you live and you learn. Maybe I'll get better as these prompts go on with these Copic markers. Who knows? So, if you don't know, Copic markers are just alcohol-based markers. I have a review video on it. Um, there's a ton on YouTube, too, so I recommend checking a few out if you're curious about how these markers are supposed to work, because how I'm using them here, it sort of looks like I'm a six-year-old coloring in a coloring page, which is not a problem. I definitely support coloring pages. I love them. I also sort of feel like my art style fits into a coloring page, coloring book sort of style. So I support coloring books, coloring pages, color how you want because it's your art. No one can tell you what to do with it. You're the one who gets to decide what you want to do with your own art. Alright, so back to this little dude here. A rolling pin guy's just hanging out in the sun. I picked a brown color because I figured, oh, most rolling pins are brown, wouldn't, right? and then realized it kind of looks like he's tanning, which, if you tan, that's awesome. I don't, I just burn, so I can't really relate to this picture of this sunbathing rolling pin. So I'm just adding some final details on this little cat and adding in some shading. So we're nearing the end of my first prompt video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know, if you feel like subscribing, that's awesome. I'm not gonna stop you. Like this video if you liked it, and if you want to follow along on these prompts, then use the hashtag below and tag me on Instagram so I can see what you guys do with these prompts. I'm excited to see what you guys will come up with. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!